hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are enjoying your days and i'm also fine i'm enjoying reading your comments that you have posted for me i'm replying most of you guys because the questions you have asked are very very important and very useful so let's start our today's topic but before starting i would like all you to subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update regarding my new upcoming videos so guys we were talking about the reinsurance and you all know what is the insurance it the, it is the insurance of basically insurance policies and uh, let's start our to this topic it says that after hurricane andrew hit southern florida in 1992 causing 15.5 billion dollar insurance losses at that time it became clear that the us insurers had seriously underestimated the extent of their liability for property losses in madagascar until hurricane andrew the industry had thought 8 billion dollar was a the large largest possible catastrophic loss reinsurers <coughs> subsequently reassess their position which in turn caused primary companies to reconsider their catastrophic reinsurers in the <coughs> Uh, the shortage and the high cost of traditional catastrophic reinsurance uh, perception by hurricane and you and dealing interest rate which sent investors looking for higher yield from interest in securitizing where the go of insurance risk among the precursors to catastrophic bond and other forms of uh, securitization were contingency financing bonds such as those issued for florida windstorm association in 1996 which provided cash in the event of catastrophe but had to be repaired rapid after a loss and contingent surplus notes an agreement with a bank or other lender that in the event of madagascar that would significantly reduce policy holders surplus funds would be made available at the predetermined prices funds to pay for the transaction should money be needed are held in us treasuries surplus notes are not considered debt and therefore do not hamper an insurer's ability to write additional insurance in addition there were equity puts through which an insurer would receive a sum of money in the events of catastrophic loss in exchange for stock or other options we'll be ending our video here so next we'll continue from where we are left in this video i hope you like it and if you like my video don't forget to share it with your friends family relatives and also don't forget to subscribe the channel and if you have already subscribed my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update on my videos see you in next video